Oh man, what has come in the mail today? We better check it out. everybody welcome back to the channel if you guys are new to the channel I'm the Wisconsin wild man and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the 5,000 uh, subscriber giveaway at 5,000 subs we're giving away a rod and reel combo so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button also hit the little bell notification next to that so you don't miss out on any future videos um, but like I said guys we're going through the rod tube that you've seen in the earlier clip um, obviously there's rods in there you know this from the tube so stay tuned all right guys so I'm so happy to finally be able to announce this now um, like I said basically got the rod tube in and I've it's just been something that's been in the works for the channel for a while now um, and I'm so happy to finally be able to, uh, to, to let you guys know what's going on. So um, I did a video earlier um, talking about my 2019 rod and reel arsenal and the lineup for it, um, but I've been talking with the company and finally I got a partnership with them and uh, I got all new rods in. So I'm no longer using St. Croix rods. I know that's crazy. If you've uh, been a, a long time subscriber to the channel, you know that I love St. Croix rods, but I have made a switch and behind me are all the rods that I've, uh, I got in. So without further ado, I'm super excited to get into this and um, show you guys the rods that I got. I guess it's a new 2019 lineup. Show you guys the rods I got. Um, and uh, my kind of my reasoning behind it. So right before we jump in, let's let's just talk the reasoning. I've really been wanting to partner with a rod company, um, specifically a company that's um, a smaller company, up and coming. Um, I just really want to help grow a company, grow a brand, and I'm just really excited to have the opportunity to do that now. Um, and after trying out these rods, I've just really, really loved them ever since I, I held one and I just, really want to work with companies um, this year and try to expand my horizons on different things as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start um, grabbing rods here, but I have partnered with ALX Rods. Um, if you guys haven't heard of them, they have a good website. You can go check it out, alxrods.com. I'll link it in the description below. Um, if you guys are familiar with Jacob Whitaker, he is a Bassmasters Elite Series Pro. Um, he's Rookie of the Year. I think he's Rookie of the Year last year. Um, and he's sponsored by LX Rods as well. Um, he, well-known angler, uh, really up and coming. Um, and ALX Rods, if, like I said, if you haven't heard of them, um, you can go check out their website. I'll link it in the description below. But I have partnered with them for the 2019 season. Um, super, super excited about it. Got a bunch of the rods in, and I'll tell you what, they, they are nice. So let's get through the uh, the lineup now. Right. So here is the first rod that I have. Now this is an ALX rod. It is the Icos series. If you can see that there, um, they have different series of their rods. This is the Ico series and then their higher end over that is the Zolo and then they have even higher end rods than that. I'm with the Ico series because I like the the price point of the rods um, for you guys specifically. Um, like I said they sent me all these rods over and I'm, I'm super excited and I really wanted to make sure that I went with a rod that is pretty affordable to most people as well. Um, but like I said I went with the Ico series rods here. Um, this rod is a Buzz. It's called the Buzz 7 which just means uh, Buzz is just the name of the rod. They name all the rods and seven for being a seven foot. This is a medium power fast action rod. Um, it's a seven footer and I'll tell you what guys, uh, what I love about this rod is how light it is. These rods are super, super light um, and I just love the fact of how light they are guys. Um, I love the guides on them as well. These, these guides are super, they're nice and small um, and you have an 11 guides on each uh, rod. That is something that I'm really excited about. My St. Croix Mojo Bass Rods only had seven guides on them and the guides were pretty big. Um, if you don't, if you, the reason being for more guides and smaller guides is it helps you make more um, precise casts. You can make, make them a little more accurately, uh, which is really nice. Um, 
And like I said, the Mojo Bass is just, they don't have, they only have seven guides on them and they're pretty big. So wasn't a huge fan of that. I am a huge fan of the grip on these as well. I really like how this cork handle, also a little bit of a uh, foam there, um, but it extends back a little further than the Mojo Bass. The Mojo Bass cork handle ends pretty short. Um, so you have a little bit bigger grip here, but I do like the cork handle on them. But like I said, guys, I mean, this rod is just, it's so, so light. I mean, this thing is just crazy light, but I, I'm really impressed with the rods. All right, so the next one in the lineup here, guys, that I grabbed, I scooped up is the ALX. It's another Icos. Like I said, all these that I bought are Icos series ones. This is the Promise 7. So it is a medium heavy, uh, fast action rod. Um, seven foot by being a promise seven. It just means that it's a seven footer um, Like I said super light rod. I'll probably use this one for fishing uh, Fishing swim jigs most likely probably gonna be a swim jig rod um, You could also flip a jig off of this or you could even throw a frog on this as well um, I did pull a plastic off of this one because I really wanted to feel that grip I will pull plastic off of all the other ones um, but just for the time being but gosh, these rods are so light. I, honestly, guys, I was super impressed with these rods. Um, like you, I've said before, all I fish is St. Croix rods, and when I when I picked up one of these and felt it, I was just super, super impressed with the rods, how light they are, and just they just feel really good in the hand, and they feel really well made as well. All right, the next one that we're gonna be looking at here is a, it's another Promise one, but it's a 7.3. Um, I got a little bit longer one on this one. This one's a 7.3 and I'll probably use it for flipping jigs on docks and whatnot. Um, I like a little bit longer rod for flipping a jig, um, but um, it's a still a medium heavy fast action rod and uh, it's just a little bit longer than the other one a couple inches, but I figure I'll use this for flipping jigs, skipping under docks and whatnot. Um, really excited to use this one for, for flipping a jig this year. So one of the rods that I'm super excited to be using this year and actually um, Jacob Whitaker, I was watching his YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. Um, he uh, was fishing the Mississippi River back when the Bassmasters Elite Series was here last year and uh, he was doing a ton of frogging, which is what I do a lot of the time. And he was using what is called the Icos hammer 7.3 what this rod is is a heavy action or heavy fast action rod seven foot three um and it is just a beast i was watching him use it on on the mississippi and uh i can't remember where else he fished but he's fishing a frog it's also really good for if you're flipping a, a jig into some more grassier areas or thicker thicker spots this rod is a beefy rod and it's definitely going to get it done for you and being a beefier rod, it's just super light, guys. I mean, this rod is just crazy light. Um, the reason why these rods are so light is, is they're made out, a lot of it is carbon fiber, I believe, and, and so these rods are crazy, crazy light, and they just feel so good in the hand. So I'm super excited to be frogging. If you guys know me, I love frogs. I just bought like you know, $150 worth of frogs as well the other day, and uh, I'm super excited to be trying out a, um, a frog on this rod. This is a rod pretty excited about as well um, this is the thunder now what this rod is is a 7.6 heavy moderate action um, rod with it's an extra heavy okay so what I, I got an extra heavy because I love to uh, punch vegetation for bass um, especially when I'm fishing a frog and a frog blows up at the frog and then he doesn't hit the frog again. You can pitch in there with a punching rig and nine times out of 10, you could pull that fish with the punching rig. Um, but I really wanted to find an extra heavy rod. Um, this one is a 7.6. I do have a, a heavy moderate action um, 711 by uh, Mojo Bass from St. Croix. And uh, that rod is definitely like you can definitely feel how heavy it is. This one is super light compared to it as well. Um, but I do feel like the 711 is is pretty long. Um, you do want a longer rod for when you're horsing a bass out of all that stuff. But I think a 7.6 is still plenty long for that. So this is really going to be a workhorse of a rod. This thing is just built to handle um, up to like two and a half, three ounces. So it's a it's a beefy rod and it, it'll do its job punching. The last rod that I got from ALX that they had sent to me is the Hustler rod, the Icos Hustler. Now, what I'm really excited about this rod for is this is an actual, it's a medium heavy, moderate action, but it's specifically for crankbaits 
up to 20 feet. You can fish like, you know, your square bills. It's just, it's a well-rounded crank baiting rod. You can use it for square bills, all the way up, like crank baits, all the way up to 20 feet. And if you're gonna go further than 20 feet, um, you're gonna want a different rod for that. Um, but it's an all around great rod. Um, I'm really excited to have a crank bait rod. I have not had a crank bait rod, like a, you know, bought one specifically for crank baits. I have used, um, I've used a medium heavy, or seven six medium heavy fast action for crank baits. Uh, for a long time, but I'm super excited to finally be using an actual um, crankbait rod. So like I said, this one is the Icos Hustler um, by ALX and gosh, it's just such a, I'm just a really excited to be using these rods this year. All right guys, so that is the announcement for the channel. Um, like I said, partnering with ALX rods, like I said, all these bad boys will be put to the test this year. Um, I highly suggest you guys go check them out. Like I said, I'm gonna link their website down below, alxrods.com. Um, I highly suggest you check them out, guys. They're at the Bassmasters uh, Classic right now. They have a booth there. Um, so if you're over that way, check it out. Um, but like I said, guys, these rods are super light. I'm super excited to be partnered with this company. Um, and just a lot of good things to come from these. And you know, in reviewing these rods, and I'm, I want I want to do a lot of comparing videos as well. Compare these to the uh, Mojo Bass rods, and what I ultimately think. But if you guys haven't tried out these rods and you are looking for a new rod, I highly suggest you hop over to ALX Rods and really take some time and consider um, getting a new rod. I did do a lot of digging on forums before I decided to partner with these guys to see, um, you know, what people thought of these rods. And a lot of I, I pretty much couldn't find one bad thing about these rods. So. Like I said guys, go over to ALX Rods, it's in the description, check it out. And that pretty much wraps up the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for that 5,000 subscriber rod and reel giveaway that will be an ALX Rod with most likely an Abu Garcia reel. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Um, and we will see you guys later. And like I always say, keep fishing hard.